And as a PS, to be able to have coached at Marquette and Indiana, the two places that really caught my attention in basketball, that's an amazing thing for me personally. 78 came around, the Kentucky one. 79 came around, and it was Michigan State. Magic Johnson, Greg Kelso, Jay Vincent versus Larry Bird, Harry Morgan, and the Indiana State guys, Brad Miley, all those guys. That became, that became the thing for me. I went to games in Central Michigan. I loved it. But boy, when those big games were on TV, there was something about it. But it never, ever went bigger than Indiana to me. Coming up through the years, being a high school player, now getting into to coaching, this is what it was all about. It was what it was all about. When I got an opportunity to come with my two high school coaches, my second year being an assistant high school coach after college, to come in here and watch a weekend of practice, one on Friday night, two on Saturday, one on Sunday morning, with question and answers with the Bob Knight, and I was in the midst of maybe, you know, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 coaches. I mean, it was over hook, line, and sinker. I mean, it was just, it was, there was something about it. There was something about the way the players were with each other. There was something about the way the coaches coached. There was something about the way Tim Garl, the trainer, who's a Hall of Fame legendary trainer, walked over to see this tall, skinny kid in a green polo shirt. And all the coaches made their way over. And I wouldn't have known who it was except all these coaches in the crowd were buzzing about Pat Graham being down on the floor, all right, to watch practice. Set the tone for me. Made me realize that as I got older, everybody in your program has got a role. Everybody in your program, it doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter if it's your trainer, it doesn't matter if it's your strength and conditioning coach, it doesn't matter if it's your academic advisor, it doesn't matter if it's your manager, it doesn't matter if it's your statistician, they all have a role. And when you walked in here and you won a game, you did something that most people didn't do. Now that, to me, is what we're trying to build Indiana back into. We're trying to make it to where people are absolutely fearful when they walk into Assembly Hall. When they have to walk down that long hallway, okay, when the bus pulls up, and they have to walk by all those championship pictures, and then they have to walk down the staircase where they see all the All-Americans, and then they have to walk into that gym where you feel like you're about three foot eight, okay, and you walk in there and you look up into those stands, and you can't believe it. Then all of a sudden you come back for the game and there's 17 and a half thousand people in there. And when they stand up, you feel like they're going to fall on top of you. That's what we've got to build again. That's part of the tradition. That's part of the deal. The program shape, all right, where it was a little while ago, it's not your fault. It's not a player's fault. It's not my fault. It's not our family's fault. And you know what? It's not the administration's fault. It's not the athletic department's fault. It happened. It happened, and we have to all deal with it and move on. I don't want our guys missing class. I, I, just, I just don't want it to happen. I also don't want to ever be a part of something where on April 3rd we walked in and there were 19 Fs in this program. I don't want to ever go through anything like that again, because that's not Indiana. That's not the way it's supposed to be. That's not the standard, the honor, the respect, all those things put together the way this program was built up. I'm coming from where we went 26 for 26 in graduation with players that use their eligibility. We're gonna to work towards the same things. Well, reliability to me is a two-way street. We're gonna be reliable for you. We're gonna put the tutors there. We're gonna put the academic advisors there. We're gonna give you every vehicle to be successful. We're gonna be there for practice. If we say we're gonna work out at eight, we're not gonna show up at 8.30. I expect you to do the same thing.